certainly there's a backlash in this country, mostly a white backlash. It's understandable. White people are now at the back of the bus. White people are being killed and shot in the streets. And it's not just whites, it's everyone. But there has been this racism that's being focused, frankly, because you're white. Many in the ultra leftist community say, radical blacks and others, that whites are born with a racist gene. So therefore, anything that happens now, if any African-American is shot, this is an excuse for violence. It's an excuse to kill. It's an excuse to take someone's property away from them that they earned. And this is where we are today. And of course, now we have the violence in Kenosha, Wisconsin. We don't know the full story of what went on there. There's some suggestion that this guy was reaching for a gun that he resisted arrest. But the reality is, is that any time now that a black person gets shot and there is violent crime per capita, there's more crime in the black population than any other population in this country, we're going to have a riot. We're going to have looting. We're going to have maiming. And we're probably going to have more killing. And this is what's so terrible. And now, of course, you know, the idiots in professional sports, these morons, whether it's Major League Baseball, the NBA, or other sports, NFL, two national anthems now, one for black people, one for the rest. They're going to boycott. They're going to get down on their knees. They're going to do what they're going to do. Really, the only sports out there really that have any integrity left are golf and tennis. And this is my message for today. I've had, I wrote my book, It Takes a Revolution, Forget the Scandal Industry. I'm talking about cable news and how they exploit the American people to boost ratings and advertising dollars, how you have to turn off Fox News, turn off Hannity if you're a conservative. We can talk about the left, but let's talk about people that support us right now, freedom fighters, and get to work and join Freedom Watch's Justice League. Sign up for our class action, see if you qualify against the Chinese our cases against social media to make it equal and non-discriminatory against conservatives, which is what it is now. Our cases against Antifa, our cases dealing with corrupt judges and lawyers and others. But it's the same thing with Major League Sports. Don't waste your time with them anymore. Don't waste your time with Major League Baseball or the NBA, which now you know, paints Black Lives Matter on every floor of this radical uh, organization that's Marxist that's anti-white, that's black separatist, essentially, or with uh, Major League Baseball that's doing the same thing, you know, and with regard to the NFL, which I've just talked about. Let's forget about them. They're morons. That's what they are. They know nothing. They know zero. You know, Ricky Gervais, when he did the Academy Awards last year in talking to the Hollywood elite, he said, you know, I don't want to hear people coming up on the stage and making political speeches. You and Hollywood know nothing. Well, you know, Ricky Gervais is a leftist, but he was talking the truth. These people in pro sports know nothing. And the owners are going along because they'll have a mutiny if they don't go along. So just forget about Major League Baseball. Forget about the NBA. Forget about the NFL. They become despicable. They become complicit, much like the corporations were in Nazi Germany that went along with Hitler, that supported him, that allowed him to continue and allowed him to stay in power and to kill six million Jews and others before he was done, notwithstanding the death and destruction in the Soviet Union, where hundreds of millions died because of Hitler. Well, this is something that you need to take into account. You need to be your own person. You need to be your own man or woman. You need to think for yourself. You need to call a spade a spade. You need to call it like it is. And that's what we do at Special Prosecutor with Larry Clayman. I believe in equality for all people. I have very strong African-American friends and colleagues. In fact, the African-Americans in the conservative community are stronger than the whites. The whites are scared. They're running for the exits. But I'm not scared. We are in a revolution right now. <clears throat> that's why I wrote a book. It takes a scandal industry. It's up on Amazon.com on Barnes and Noble, on Borders.com, Booksamillion.com. Pre-order it. We need to wage a peaceful and legal revolution, and we can't be part of the crowd. We can't be part of the mob. We can't go along with the status quo because it's 
politically correct. The country's going down the drain. And you can see how effective the speakers have been this week at the Republican National Convention, the actual people, not the politicians. Although I thought Pence did a good job last night. Of course, the Communist News Network is trashing him, CNN, because they hate him because he's a pe- person of faith. But this is a reality here, is that we need to rise up. We need to do it for ourselves. We cannot depend on the president. And personally, I hope he's reelected, but he'll be only there for four years, and he probably won't get to do much because the whole Congress will be against him, and the judiciary will be undercutting him, the federal judiciary, as usual. So we need to rise up. So go to freedomwatchusa.org, join our Justice League, see if you qualify for our class actions, play a role. Get up off the couch, put the TV down, turn it off, turn it off, whether it's Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, or Major League Baseball, NBA, or the NFL. These are low lives. These are not people that are here for our country. They're here for themselves. <clears throat> and join our cause at freedomwatchusa.org and purchase the book. Pre-order it. It takes a revolution. Forget the scandal industry. And thank you for listening to me. Share this podcast far and wide, wherever you can, on freedomwatchusa.org, on radioamerica.com, who I thank for letting me tell the truth as I see it each day, Twitter, on Spotify, on iTunes, on Parler, P-A-R-L-E-R, on Facebook. Share it far and wide. Get the word out. We, the people, must rise up before this country is lost. Thank you for listening to me. God bless you. God stays, will help you stay safe and God save America. I'll be back tomorrow with another podcast, a special prosecutor with Larry Klayman. Until then, thank you for listening to me. Do you hear that? It's the sound of TD Ameritrade's Education Center, working smoothly behind the scenes to curate its own content so you only get what's relevant to your investment goals and interests. That means no wasted time, just information that matters. Head over to tdameritrade.com education to start learning. Member SIPC.